Wait, hold up. Hey, this one take, Jay, and I need everybody to go check me out right now on Bootleg Care Podcast. If you're not, I don't know what you got going on. Before we start the interview, shout out ImperialExtraction.com, the best cultivators on the West Coast growing the world-class dank that won't break your bank, y'all. That's right, pre-rolls, flour, THCA, which means it can get delivered to wherever you are, totally legal. Yes, 15% off your order, ImperialExtraction.com. Save 15% off right now. Look at that thing. Yeah. All right? Bootleg15 is the promo code. Save 15%. ImperialExtraction.com. Let's get into the interview. Yo, Bootleg Cat Podcast, man. We got a special guest in here. Just dropped his new project, uh, Summer in Compton. Wait, one take hold J. up. Hey, it's One Take J and this bitch. And we hanging like tits. I'm here. Hanging like tits. Hopefully not too much. Nah, I fuck with the saggy ones, uplifted ones, all of them. You're, uh, you don't discriminate. <laughs> nope. Nah, yeah, you never to... heard that mustard intro? Of course, yeah, that's what that's my shit. I was so, gonna actually, I was gonna ask you so about that. That's one of your like, uh, that's like a, that's like one of them ones in the club out here, bro. Like on the West Coast. Oh, yeah, like, they mess with that, yeah, for sure. Jeez, my out of my Accidents um, happen every day. Um, but yeah, man, you got this new project that just dropped. I wanted to ask you, like. I feel like you've been kind of like one of the faces of the last like five or six years of like L.A. hip hop in terms of just like the new energy that's been happening. I feel like guys like yourself, Rucci, AZ Chike. Um, but with what's happened with like this Kendrick uh, moment, I feel like there's a lot more attention being paid to L.A. artists. Are you feeling that as well? Uh, yeah, I say that just because of the fact uh, he basically catapulted, like catapulted us to the top it ain't really just him because it's the sound for you sure feel me so yeah i fuck with that you know everything yeah i feel like it's, it's just putting more eyes on the you feel me the west coast sound and all that boom um yeah and i think too like that it's, it's helpful that like uh not like us is like a real like west coast bop you know what i'm saying yeah for sure. Uh, what was for you, man? Uh, this new album, obviously, it's hot as fuck in LA right now. Was that was that kind of like the intention, like making a soundtrack to the summer? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. And when you think of one take, you gonna automatically think, you feel me, summertime, right. or you feel me, when it's time to party, right? So yeah, that was really the intentions behind that. Then the name just came from where I'm from, Summer in Compton. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna show y'all how we coming. We were just in Compton with the uh, Compton Cowboys. Oh, okay, that's Randy dope. Sav and those guys. Yeah, I had no idea that that was there. Oh yeah, that's that shit crazy. It's like a, a whole like ranch over there. Yeah, like that, thing. even just that neighborhood. It's like hella people with horses over there. Oh man. Yeah. Did you ever like go over there as a kid or anything? Uh, not just specifically go to the ranch, but like on that street. I mean, every if you from everybody Compton, has everybody know about the. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, you got some dope features on the album. Uh, shout out to the homie X Four, Ralphie the Plugs on there. Uh, who else? Who else on the project? Uh, I got Ralphie and X Four. I got Caribou. I got Avi Kayor. I got, and then I got the One Take homies. Uh, oh, and John Mack. Shout out to one John take, Mack from the Bay. One Take Quan and One Take Teasy. Got them on a couple joints on there. Yeah, shout out to. I feel like John Mack. A lot more people should be talking about what he's doing out of the Bay. Oh uh, yeah, bro, go crazy. I have to get one in with him for sure. For sure. Um, is there anybody besides your crew that you're like? just a fan of like i would say five years ago you were kind of the new up-and-coming la guy is there anybody that you're just tapped in with that's on, on the come up right um, now yeah some people uh yeah it's a dude named yns flacco y'all gotta tap in with him and um shit who else it's a lot of motherfuckers oh my cousin streets he coming soon. Y'all got to um, tap in with that. He just dropped his first uh, visual and single called Bag of Gems. Then we got my other uh, good people's MNS Cam. That's my cousin, too. He coming, too. They from Compton, too. That's what's up. Shout out to be Compton. on the lookout. Something about the water in Compton just produces, like, the best fucking rappers. And both of the people I just <laughs> named was on a uh, project on the song Nagando. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite song on the album? Uh... I don't know. Kind of probably, I would say that one. Either the Gondo or Twerking in a Function because they both like different vibes. Mm. See what I'm saying? The Twerking in a Function is a sample to Snoop Dogg's sexual seduction. So, 
That's yeah. a great song to sample. See what I'm saying? So did you turn sex, sensual seduction into a fucking... Nah, it's not no, it's not no super ratchet. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just shit. thinking it's like, the name it's of the like, song. I don't know. It's like it is like a more West Coast beat, but I say it's like a universal beat because of that sample. You see what I'm saying? Right. Are you are you independent? Obviously, do, yeah. do, like what's it like clearing the Snoop Dogg record? You just throw it out there and hope. Oh it, yeah, <laughs> put that bitch out there and hope they don't snatch that bitch down on you know I me. Mean? Yeah, it's like, and if it gets big enough, that's exactly. a good thing. Exactly, exactly. Then you, then you, and you, tap you figure in it out. Like, uh, yeah, you figure it out from there for real. For sure, for sure. That's smart, man. Um, talk to me, man. Like uh, for you, I feel like you you have never really necessarily been wrapped up in a lot of like the negative. I feel like we always get negative stereotypes in L.A. when the artists when it comes to like politics and because that's how everybody get their promo. They're not posting your music for real, right? I feel like though you guys have I, like I feel like when I think of like yourself and Chaik and, and just your your generation like it was more about like the music and like kind of moving together as opposed to um shit I just feel like it was a different time type shit you feel me it wasn't a lot of it was like new it was all, it was all new right you feel me so shit changed do you feel like I was just talking with MC Magic, uh, who's a, a Mexican artist from Arizona, and he was talking mm -hmm. about just like Mexican hip hop artists in general. He's like, yo, it sucks because a lot of times the most promo these guys get is they go on podcasts and oh, they'll say yeah. like hella negative shit and they stir up drama. Do you feel yeah, like you it's like think that? It's clickbait. It's all titles and all that. that. That'd be the best promo. That just was never my thing. My shit going to go up regardless. Right. Do you feel like that's a thing that artists kind of depend on nowadays? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you got to think, a lot of motherfuckers don't really be like that in the booth, so they be running out of shit to say. You got to do something. I don't blame you for trying to get your money. Yeah, like, just let's go stir some shit up and get some uh, some real views. Come on. Yeah, no, nah, that's real, man. Uh, how, like, for you, man, how often are you, are you just like a studio rat? Are you living in the studio? Or are you? Yeah, I be, I be recording myself and shit, so I be in that bitch like every day, but shit. At home? Nah, 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 nah. I'd be at the studio. Okay, okay. Yeah, so. I don't know if you had, like, the, the little scarlet at the crib, you know? Nah, I really need that type of setup, though. I feel like that'd be way, way more easier because you, no, you don't gotta go nowhere type shit, like. Yeah, Blast's whole shit is, like, he Blast has the, like, $400 studio setup. Yeah, that's all you really need, And it's though. at his house. If you got a motherfucker knowing how to mix your shit how you yeah, want it, like, that's all you he's need. He's, like, chosen and was recorded on a $100 mic and on yeah. a scarlet Two channel interface. I'm like, damn. Yeah, the inter the the studio I'm in, shit. It's just a room. The mic right there by you. It ain't even no booth. Were you always recording yourself, or is this something you kind of learned how to do over time? Uh, no, nah, I learned over time. But I've been knew what was going on. But uh, I just said fuck it and just cause it kind of I don't know. It's just better cause I feel like sometimes you feel me even with the engineers and shit. Maybe they will get impatient and all that. But when it's just you. You feel me? It's just like, yeah. You feel like you 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 can create without worrying exactly, about exactly without worrying about nothing. Like you yo, just, if I want, if I yo yo if I want to redo this line, I don't. Even if subconsciously you think you're bothering the engineer, exactly or some shit like that. Yeah. You just you feel me? You on your own timing, and, and I don't know. It's just it's just real real like kind of like just smoother like. Hey, we're about to kick off another interview brought to you by Hardeen. That's right. If you're in Vegas, it's the number one dispensary in the country. The craziest selection of premium cannabis. And uh, all you got to do is shoot them a follow. Hardeen underscore Las Vegas. HardeenLasVegas.com. When you're in Vegas, tell them I sent you. Hey, real quick, want to tell you about our family at Odd Socks, baby. That's right. They've been our longest running sponsor. They're our family. They make the most comfortable socks in the world. Whatever you're into, man, you see the Scarface. I got Coca-Cola, Street Fighter, SpongeBob. These are SpongeBob underwear. By the way, their boxers are so comfortable, y'all. Like, listen, I need y'all to save 20% off at checkout right now. Just go to oddsocksofficial.com. Use that promo code bootleg ASAP. Get you some draws. Get you the most comfortable socks in the world. Ghostbusters, Funyuns, whatever you need, they got it. Oddsocksofficial.com. Promo code bootleg. Save 20% off. Let's jump back into this interview. Yeah, I feel like the one thing artists should always try to do is figure out how to do everything themselves even if it's just to like a okay degree yeah on me that way the worst case scenario if you need to hop on photoshop or yeah i really to, just learned though from just watching that's though, what i'm like, saying like recording yourself that's a big expense hell yeah and then like being a, like, as, I, as i'm sure for you being independent fully now is like is you got to handle all of it 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, that shit ain't really nothing though. It's just really. Only thing I need is like more promo, bro. All the other shit is like, nah. You feel me? But that shit gonna get handled. Shout out Tyreen. She be doing her thing. I was gonna say, moving independently because you were on. A, what you were on a major for a sec? Yeah, I was with Atlantic. Yeah. For uh, two projects. So like, what has been the big difference for you now handling shit on your own as opposed to when you were in the Atlantic system? I go up more when I'm on my own. So you think it was a negative to be on Atlantic? No. It's just a slower process. You got to think, when I came out, I came out, I came out off of consistency and, like, you feel me? Back to back to back to back. In your face. And it's good, good content. You know what right. I'm saying? Good uh, music. So with the label thing, is everything just, like, way slower. The process yeah, you is have way to get, slower. You have to get green lights. Exactly. You got to get you, stuff clear. And it ain't even like... That's what I'm saying. That's why I said it wasn't a bad thing because it's just the business side. You right. see what I'm saying? And it's like... Uh, but with the independent shit though, like I'm still on the business shit. Like everybody get paid from the cover art to the um, producers getting the splits on a. Uh, um, that's why you ain't never seen no producer come out one take. This is it because right, right. everybody get paid. Are you dropping through DistroKid? Yeah. See, that's, I always tell people like if you're really independent and you're not cashing out producers, that's the easiest way because you could just be. You know like, I mean, splits. You could just cut people in on the record. Hey, yo, produce a record. And that's. Working together, you see what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, but a lot of people, a lot of artists, because you got to think, producers be getting mad. A lot of artists don't even be knowing about that. They just throwing their shit up on there. Because you got to think, I didn't even know about Distro Kid until shit. I already had millions and millions of streams on SoundCloud. So you just, this shit just a process. Yeah, it's easier too, because then like those producers will push the fuck out of like. Exactly. If they they know they're getting paid from it, exactly. 100%. It works out for everybody. Yeah, but some people be different though. Like I had a couple of producers on the thing on a uh, project. Um, they just rather get the uh, get the upfront bread. Yeah, and you just took care of them. There you go. Yeah. Oh, me. Problem is, some of them producers, man, be fucking tripping, dog. <laughs> Here. I don't know. I didn't get that. You be. I'd rather be getting the streaming bread forever because For sure. it's forever. Exactly. But, have, have you been paying attention at all to um, what like Russell's doing uh, up in the Bay? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I fuck with his movement and all that. I follow Bro on the ground. Yeah. yeah, he's been doing like if like someone shoots a video, where they do like he'll cut people in. Yeah, I just seen like Juvenile was on the uh, went to his little uh, his backyard mm-hmm. function type thing. That shit was hard. Did you see Richie Rich from the Bay break his knee on stage there? Nah. So Richie Rich, the OG. Was, he really broke his knee for real? So yeah, he was jumping up and down, snapped his knee, and freestyled the whole time. So he was freestyling on With the a fucked floor, up knee. And he's like, I just snapped my tibia. I need help. Someone get a nerd. Like, this shit was crazy. <laughs> and everyone's just dancing around him. And he's like, oh, I'm like, no, I'm not oh, lying, yeah, I'm y'all. Serious. My shit is snapped. <laughs> but he's rapping the whole time. Like, I was like, damn. You got to go to the pergola. That shit he, crazy. He's different for that. I feel like somebody in LA should try to do some shit like that. Yeah, that would be dope. But shit, you just got to, I don't know. You got to just, you got to find the right location and the right vibes. You got to be secured up. The vibes got to be right. Yeah, you got to be secured up. Yeah, and it's got, yeah, it's got to kind of be like out the way low key. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Cause you gotta think Once something get popular And it's close enough to For everybody to Everyone's go to pulling up Exactly You almost gotta move it Every time That'd be See that'd be a thing If you had Working with people And you could just Pick up and move We in this city today We in that city today That'd be hard Yeah I really feel like Like Santa Clarita's the spot Cause who really wants to drive All the way to Santa Clarita Yeah that is a little mission That's a, You want you gotta, you gotta want it to be a mission Just so going up though They gonna go For sure That's true go. That's true that is true, man. Fast. Um, no gas and everything. Pulling up. That's a hell of an Uber to Santa Clarita. <laughs> Compton so to Santa Clarita, that's $110. <laughs> At least. They coming, though. Yeah, for sure. They're going to figure it out. All right, guys. Let's stop the interview for a second. Football season is upon us. It's my favorite time of the year. That means we get to gamble on my bookie on our favorite football teams. And the best part about uh, my bookie is now you can do the parlays. And cash out early. Let's say you do a three-leg parlay, two of the three hit. You get to cash out early. I just did this, too. Uh, Because, you know, I also like to gamble on a little baseball. But NFL season is approaching, man. And uh, look, this is what it is. It's, It's not only having such a great time winning that extra money. 
It just makes you pay attention to the games more, man. I love throwing a little something, something, a little action, man. Week one is coming. Preseason NFL is coming. There's so much. And I'm going to tell you this. My promo code right now, use that promo code bootleg at mybookie.ag. That's mybookie.ag. Sign up with a new account. Promo code bootleg. You're going to lock in that welcome bonus. That's going to get all the way up to $1,000. Yes. If you put in $1,000, it's going to get you that bonus up to $1,000 free money to bet with. And let me just tell y'all. I am hammering, hammering the Arizona Cardinals over total wins for this season. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm also also putting a little, I was just having a conversation with my boy about this. Now, I'm not a handicapper, but I'm going to tell you what I like. MyBookie.ag, promo code bootleg. Get that first deposit bonus right now. I'm going to tell you what I like, though. I like three teams throw a little something on just to win the Super Bowl this year. I'm going to go with, these are these are three, you decent odds. The Jets, because everyone's off the Jets right now. Just saying. The Texans, great odds on the Texans. And the Bengals, three AFC teams. Throw a little something on each one of them. Win the Super Bowl, thank me later. I got a feeling one of those three might make it. We'll see. MyBookie.ag, promo code bootleg, man. Let's get ready for this football season together. Oh, I'm so excited. Also want to give a shout out. Speaking of being excited, Blue Chew. That's right, man. It's that time, all right? Fellas, if you're dealing with erectile dysfunction of any sort, maybe you're stressed out, maybe you're tired of your girl, you just need to get it up for a little bit. Whatever it is, go to my... We just talked about my bookie. Go to Blue Chew. <laughs> BlueChew.com. Get your dick right, fellas. Yes, if you're... Uh, Johnson is not Johnsoning. That's an interesting way to put it. Uh, don't trip. Blue Chew's got you. It's got the same active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis in a chewable form. Best part about it, zero doctor's appointments involved. Yes, that means you go to the website, bluechew.com, you put that promo code in, bootleg, because you're going to get a month's supply for free with the promo code bootleg at bluechew.com, a whole month for free to see just for yourself what I'm talking about, because it definitely works. Um, And then you just handle everything online. There's no awkward doctor's appointments. And then it's delivered to your house in discreet packaging. And then you, you know, have... You, oh, look, your dick's going to get much harder than it's ever been. So let's just be clear. That blue chew be hitting, all right? So look, go to bluechew.com, promo code bootleg. Get a month supply for free. Only got to uh, is pay $5 shipping, all right? That's it. All right, let's get back to the interview, though. Um, who do you got on your Compton Mount Rushmore, man? Um, shit. I don't even know. That's kind of crazy. Let me see. Compton Mount Rushmore. I'm included. If you'd like to include yourself, I would say you belong on that. But you know, see. I'm gonna go with me. Okay. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna just go all the one takes. Me. That is one a take fucking cop out. Okay, you can't include TZ, yourself. This is crazy. One this, take is, old show. this is the That's city that Kendrick coming. Lamar and Dr. Dre came from. What are we talking about? <laughs> What are we talking about? <laughs> all right, all right, I can't all right you myself. gotta delete your crew out right, of the. All right, all right. So I go, Kendrick, Dr. Dre, Roddy Rich, and YG. I respect the four. Yeah. Shout out to why I, I would say that those would probably be my four. You gotta think. Yeah. I might put the game in that though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, not like, yeah. See, I'd probably I go the YG, game. The Game, Dre, and Kendrick. Roddy went diamond out the gate, though. For sure, for sure. I'm for keeping Roddy. Uh, Roddy's the, he's, he's, he's the sixth, well, he's the fifth man, and I think he's right on the bench just waiting to, to jump in the game. Hey, man. It would be the game of Roddy, but I think YG is solidified. Like, YG's yeah, there. Yeah, but it's just that, that. That but die. you gotta understand. That but you gotta think. The look, game held down L.A. for like no, a for decade. sure though. But I'm saying just that. Well, then you just had to put the put a fifth person in because starting coming five. coming diamond out the gate is like over crazy. You see what I'm saying? For sure. I don't give a damn who you is because you gotta think that's like a small box of people. For sure. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, we just had to go five. I've, that's a that's a great five. And then obviously your five, which is just you and your your crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Is there anyone forgetting? I hope not. Shit. Not Gorilla Black. Remember Gorilla Black, the guy who sounded yeah, like I heard baby? it, bro, before. He had a song called Compton that was pretty hard. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. DJ Quick. Oh, yeah. We tripped out for sure. Gotta include out. Quick in that combo. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would yeah, put it'd be different. Honestly, honestly, yeah. my yeah, four yeah, yeah, my yeah, four yeah. would be quick, YG, Dr. Dre, and Kendrick. I would leave the game and Roddy off if I had to pick four. You just said the game did all this shit. I'm just saying <laughs> I forgot about DJ four. Quick. Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, right. we probably should take Dre off. Because Dre is more like a Me too. What you trying to say? No, no, no. Dre's Me like too. a producer. Dre's like the architect. So he obviously he built the mountain. There's no Mount Rushmore without him. He's the he's the architect of Mountain. So you throw game in there. Boom. So you got to throw game in there. All right. Yeah, yeah. we could just rock like that for but sure. I, we, yeah, shout out to DJ. I feel Quick. like that's fair. Yeah, DJ Quick though. Big apologies on me, DJ Quick and Sugar Free. That's the only people I liked it before. Like it was like the jerking era and shit. Like DJ, I used to be yeah. listening to their shit and I didn't even know what they was talking about. Sugar Free has one of the most. I always say this. Like we just talked about that with Roddy Rax. I was like, yo. There's nobody who's ever sounded like Sugar Free, and I don't think anybody ever will. Yeah, you can't even imitate that. Like the way he raps, like is so like it's so in in a it's pocket like un- that don't or- exist. It's like good unorthodox. It's so unorthodox. It, it's so insane. Like I just heard like he did a song with, with Roddy Rax uh, from uh, La Puente, and like he was snapping, but he was snapping. Yeah, that's like- the thing too. Look, when I did, he was on my uh, uh, album before. A couple, two albums ago, um, Compton Globetrotter. So, bro, I sent them two songs to pick out a, a either one type shit. Bro, end up doing both, both. of them bitches. Bro, I'm, when I tell you he was talking like, when I first ever heard Sugar Free and thought he was hard, he has to still rapping same the same. Way. Same way. Bro, that's crazy. And, like, he's one of them dudes, the way he raps, like, you almost, like, got to listen yeah, you gotta, you gotta like, you gotta stay, spin it. You gotta keep playing yeah. it back. You gotta, you gotta keep take notes. playing wait, the wait, verse. What did he say? But I ain't gonna cap. I, I never did for, that before. For drinking on the job at the sperm bank. I never did that before for no body because I catch shit like quick. No, him, you got Bars and shit. Bro, he was, he sent the verse back, bro. I kept rewinding that bitch. He was saying some shit. Nah, I mean. nah. Sugar Free's a fucking legend. I'm, I feel like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is about Sugar Free where, he, I, for whatever reason, he just don't get like the love like nationally when we think about L.A. and the West Coast. Because he's just doing him. Yeah, he's an alien, and I think Quick's in the same. I fucking. I mean, and you gotta think, he, you, what you what you just asked me in the beginning of this shit with the drama and all the shit. You don't see Sugar was not Free doing no clickbait shit nope. and all that. And also back in the day, he wasn't on that gang. He was on the pimping shit. Exactly. I say he's doing him. Did you meet Sugar Free? Uh yeah, I met him one time. I met him in Vegas, but not when we did the song though. Well, not I, when we did the I, song. I lived in Vegas, and uh, he was at the Planet Hollywood Hotel walking a chick uh, with a leash on her neck, like she was a dog. <laughs> and I was like, doing him, bro. But Can I literally was like, up? I literally was like, this is all I ever hoped to happen if I met Sugar Free. <laughs> this shit real. Like this is exactly how it'd be like. You know, it's like this is this is this is the man I listened to as a kid. He has a girl on a leash in the middle of a fucking Vegas casino. This is crazy. It might have been two girls. It was definitely one. Hey, man. Shout out to Sugar Free, man. Shout out to Sugar Free. Well, look, your new album is out right now. Summer in Compton. Um, and uh, are you are you gonna are you sitting on a lot of music right now? Are you gonna work this for a while? Like, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop. We're gonna drop a one take project like shit ASAP. Like, ASAP. Probably let this shit breathe for. Couple weeks or something. I got like thousands of unreleased songs. Yeah, like I record every day. Like thousands. I swear. Do you ever go through demoitis where you you have a song that's unreleased and it's old to you and you get tired of it so you don't put it out? But it's. I mean, that's when you just start previewing it, throw it up on TikTok or something. I just feel like that. Should and be- you got to think. You got to um. When you around people, you gotta just play music like unexpectedly and just see throw some shit on, yeah. see what they feel like. Exactly. Because it might be old to you. I see that shit. Yeah, it's all always the time. old to you, but to somebody else, it's brand new. It's fresh. Yeah. And some songs is timeless. Like, you mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? For sure. I mean, the good ones are at least. Exactly. There it is. That's man. why you just throw that bitch on. If they get up and get to doing what they do, bing. There it is. One take, Jay. Go get the album. Appreciate you sitting down, brother. Wait, hold up. Summer and Compton out now. Go get that. Boom.